What is going on guys? How is it going? We are back for the trade day results for this massive ass trade day we have going on right now. I haven't checked any of the tr of the trades from last night. This is all going to be brand new to me. There's a bunch of a bunch of trades, so many. So thank you to everybody who did send in a trade. Who knows, maybe a half of them will be full trades, but there's about 50 minutes left on all these players and the last one being like an hour and change, I'm pretty sure. Last one being Kari Letton and him having an hour and 12 minutes. So it's a little bit of time in between, but I'm going to go ahead and accept all the or um, decline all the offers that I do not want or that do not add up or all of the troll all the troll trades. Who knows all these trades could be troll trades, but I hope not. But um and then I'm going to decline the ones I don't want so maybe they can counter offer and then leave the ones that I want until the very end. So first off, Alexander Semin, the super Russian, here he is. We got a troll trade to start it off. Perfect. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom is 700 bucks. Okay, not a bad deal. Um, I actually wanted to try Nicholas Backstrom out, but I'm pretty sure he's only like 20k. I will have to go double check on that. And then Jake Gardner started the week. You almost classify that as a, as a troll trade, but none for Mike Richards, which is, which is kind of surprising. We got two for Victor Fast here. Uh, 5k and Jonathan Bernier, or 6.5k and a. Um, a random logo. I think I'm gonna go with the Jonathan Bernier one because I can get a couple K for Jonathan Bernier at least. Uh, we have two for Jonas Hiller here. Uh, pretty much a troll trade. And this one, again, a troll trade. So I don't really care about the troll trades. You're honestly just wasting your own time. It doesn't really affect me at all. Uh, first of all, we have Matty Duchesne here. He is on the left wing. I did forget to mention that. Uh, again, probably another troll trade right here. And then, oh great, we have Matt Duchesne for Matt Duchesne. Actually, I'm going to accept this just because of the fact that he does have more contract. He's on the center position, which I originally uh, wanted to. This was an accident. I didn't mean to change over uh, Duchesne. I was just spamming A and I accidentally clicked it. And I guess 50 bucks. So I'm going to take that when the time comes. Thank you for that. Um, is that it? Yeah, we have two for Ryan Kessler here. Uh, oh, troll trade. Perfect. Oh, yes. Still looking for the Oli Jokinens, though. Nobody's uh, sent any any uh, Oli Jokinens in yet. There's usually quite a bit. We have none for Dan Boyle. Three for Cam Ward here. And it is a another troll trade. Jesus. Okay, Corey Schneider and 10k. Not bad. I know Schneider's actually stupidly expensive. He's like... 60k or like 50k he's up there so that's pretty much even if Schneider's 50k I'm gonna have to go look that up uh, Nicholas Bax gonna have 51k so what would I rather have a decent goalie in 10k or a goalie I'm not gonna use I already have the goalies I'm gonna use so all these guys are gonna be in the, in the trade day um I'm actually gonna take that one instead of the Corey Schneider one because 51k is very 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 nice Does, did Victor Fast get another one no he's that got the other one um yeah, uh, the 55k is really, really nice, and uh, yeah, I'll have to look up what Corey Snyder does and go for, and then I will uh, come back when there's like 10 minutes left, and then I will, I will uh, look it up. We have Matt Molson here. I think Matt Molson goes for like under 10k, so 3k in daily, it's like 4k. Ah, uh, no. Sven Berchi and 2500, nah. Uh, 3500, Andrew Kulikov, again, no. 1700 okay so a bunch of pretty much troll trades maybe Molson's drops I remember when he was like 10 like 11k maybe he has dropped maybe this is my bad I'll probably have to go look him up but um so the th the two for Cam Ward we have two for Dan Girardi the 88 overall defenseman uh Tobias Enstrom Corbinian Holzer this rare bronze guy and 350 pucks guess I'll reject that uh 200 pucks of Victor Hedman not bad I actually really like Victor Hedman he's probably my favorite defenseman in the whole game he's got better stats than Girardi why does uh, I guess he's got a better defensive category but all right we will delay that one because Victor Hedman's a pretty uh, sought-after dude so I wish there's more pucks in there though I'm gonna have to do a huge price check on everyone then uh, when the time comes I'll come back and then I'll have like my little list or whatever but Ryan McDonough here the other New York Ranger defenseman uh, Nick Schultz and this Jeremy Welsh guy <laughs> pretty much a troll trade so you know ahead and reject that we have Steve Mason 
yeah, it just it, it, it just does not add up at all. It's like maybe 3k, maybe, maybe. So that's like a 5k for like a 25k player. Really does not add up. Uh, still rocking the one for these guys. Are moving right along here. Uh, so that one for Girardi that I gotta look up. I believe. Yeah. What was the Girardi one? Yeah. This is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have the worst memory in the whole world. But uh, we're gonna go over here to Mark Stahl, another New York Rangers uh, d defenseman here. We have another freaking troll trade. Oh my god. Um, okay, we have Anisimov and Gabranson. So I know Mark Stahl is about 15k, 10 to 15k, lowballing it at in 10k. Uh, Anisimov's like 100, like 1k at, on a good day, and I think Gabranson is like 2k. So really does not add up at all. Again, gotta look at the market price before you do send in a trade because it really doesn't make sense to send in a, in a tray that doesn't really add up because you're wasting my time and you're wasting your time. So look up the market prices before you do send in a trade. We have Marty St. Louis here. Um, okay, 17.5K, Robodon, Stefan. So Stefan will say 5K. So this is like 21K. Uh, okay, well, actually, I, uh, I know he's like 35. Again, I'll have to do a huge price check I'm pretty sure Marty St. Louis is like at least 30k uh, Scotty Hartnell I already have one that would be a good a bad card to get I'll look up how much Scotty Hartnell start of the week goes for and 600 bucks and we have Bodker Martin uh, Girardi okay uh, Girardi's like maybe 10 to 15 Martin's like 1 to 2 same with Bodker uh, it just doesn't add up once again so we're gonna go ahead and reject that one Girardi is a uh, pretty good player though although he's 88 he's one of the cheaper 88 so if you're looking for a decent defenseman there uh, he would be your dude your guy for sure but we have Mike Smith here 87 overall we have Mika Kipristoff, Michael no Neuverth and Antoine Kadobin so three, uh, I guess, backup goalies and 5K. Mike Smith is actually ridiculously expensive, so I don't want that trade at all. I know he's like 50K plus, so still no other deals. Still rocking the couple for these guys. And then we are on to page number three now, I believe. Yep, okay, we're on page number three, and we are going to go for Jack Johnson here. And we got David Krejci. Okay, not bad. And a couple changed teams. Again, I have to look up the prices, so I will come back to that. It's not a bad deal, though, David Krejci. I think it's like 25k, so that's actually not a bad trade. I will probably take that when the time comes. But we got Travis Zajac here. One of the cheaper uh, 87 over overalls in the game. Yeah, 4k. Uh, I, know he's, I know he's more than 5k, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, Marty Havlat in 2k, again, just doesn't really add up. You... Marty Havlat, last year he was... Do we have another trade? I think I saw one for Kessler. Nope. Okay. Uh, Marty Havlat, again, he was really expensive l last year, but this is just so common this year. Marty Havlat, here we have Kyle Turris and David Booth. Um, You know what? What the hell? We got to take one. Uh, and I don't think Havlat's too overly expensive, so I actually have none of these guys in my collection. I probably took a loss there, but I didn't think I was going to get any other trades on Marty Havlat. So what the hell, and does uh, give a little bit of trade room or uh, trade room in my trade pile. Uh, two for St. Louis, still rocking those, and we got, okay, 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 we got one for Danny Hamhuse, my favorite defenseman, <laughs> 3K, very low ball offer. You guys are low balling me today, what is going on? Uh, still the two for Cam Ward, and we got David Krejci with three trades. Uh, Trevor Daly and 14k. So I'll have to go look up what Krejci goes for because I have to anyways for the previous deal. But that's not a bad deal. 14k. Uh, we have 2k. The All-Star. 50 goals in 07, baby. Um, Mikhail Grabowski and Dubinsky. No, it doesn't add up at all. And we have another troll trade. Beautiful. Moving on. Moving on here. No other deals coming my way. I'm, I'm sure that trades will come in in the last 10 minutes because they always really pour in there we have Jeff Carter here whoa <laughs> okay Henrik Sedin who is I know he's worth more than Jeff Carter so I'm gonna take that definitely and a plus five wall and Parento and Alfredson that is a great trade so uh, yeah that doesn't even compare to the other one so I'm definitely gonna take that I should probably take it right now because I don't think there's gonna be any other trades that are going to even compare to that that is a great trade thank you to whoever did uh, send that, that one in obviously giving me a deal there that is crazy we have Sam Gagne with one 
uh, 2K and Pierre Marc Bouchard. I'd rather just sell Gagne on the open market. I think I can get at least 5K, and I know Pierre Marc Bouchard is he's, he's got good offensive stats, but other than that, he's like maybe 1K. We have five for Logan Couture here. Uh, troll trade, okay, get out of here. 50K and Mike Camilleri. I will delay that again, do a price check. Uh, 1K, gone, just wasting your time, but it doesn't even add up at all. 7K, Marshan Baxter, and change team to Florida. Okay, so pretty much 8K with the change team to Florida. I think Marshan's about 10, so uh, 18, and then Backstrom's like 25, so I'm I, it just doesn't add up. I know Couture is like 60 to 70k. Okay, Marius St. Louis and Jeff Carter. So if I trade those two, I can definitely get them back here. I wish there was some pucks, but let's say 30 for St. Louis and 30 at 60. It's probably a good deal. I'll probably take that when the time comes. Uh, any other deals? We're almost at the end here, and then I'll come back when there's like a couple minutes left and go through all of them, except the ones I want, and then wait until the time comes where more trades start to pour in. I do love doing trade days though, so I will continually bring them out to you guys. Uh, so those two for there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So on the home stretch here, none for Eric Stahl, which is actually pretty surprising. 88 overall, no, no, no offers. We have Taylor Hall here with only one trade, and that trade is 2K. Ryan Getzlaff, Matt Green have line a plus five all. So um, Taylor Hall is like 160. I've, I've. I, I've seen him go from anywhere to like 130 to 180 even. So I know he's a, worth a lot more than Getzlaff is. So let's say Getzlaff, let's say 60K, maybe, maybe. Oh, actually, I, I know he's dropped now. He's like 50 maybe. So 50 and then the rest is like five maybe and then six seven yeah it just does not add add up to taylor hall's value hall is one of the best cards you can get in the game right now so we're going to go ahead and reject that one and move on here uh still two trades there none for stall four for daniel sedin and these trades are going to be uh 99 overall nazem kadri uh jason pominville and paul stastny so let's say kadri say on a good day he's 10 same with pominville and stastny's like Five, so that's like 25, 26, 27. Not even uh, half of what Daniel Sedin is is worth. We got start of the week Verbata, start of the week Garrison, start of the week Yakupov, and Nathan Horton. So let's say he's five, ten. Uh, I think ten at least. Uh, again, just not even close to what he's worth. Daniel's like 80k. I've seen him go up to 90 and just troll trades here. So we'll go ahead and reject all of those. We're gonna have a. This, this video is gonna be really long, actually. Now that I look at, it. we're already like 13 minutes in, and I haven't even got to the the meat and potatoes of it to when we're actually gonna start accepting the deal. So I have to actually put this into two two uh, videos. But Corey Perry here with two offers, and he is gonna give us Jerome Ginla and Grabowski star of the week. I think Grabowski is under 10k. So again, does not add up. Corey, oh, another troll trade. Jesus. Uh, Corey Perry is another one of those people who I've seen go as high as like 90, but as low as like 55. We got some more trades here. We got one for Ryan Kessler, probably another troll trade. Yeah, there it is. And he's getting in. If he just continues to do that, I'll just uh, reject, or I'll just uh, delay the offers. So two, one, two. I'm gonna have to do a lot of price checking here. I'm gonna go on my little notepad here and look up all of the prices. We have a couple more though. We have only one for John Tavares. And that trade is 10K, Lars Eller, Jared Stahl, or not Jared Stahl, Jordan, J Jordan Stahl, uh, Dan Girardi, and Leguan. Just does not add up at all. Let's say 30K for Lars Eller, so that's 40, and then let's say 20, 40, 50, 60, and it's like 70K, and it's not even really that close to John Tavares' value, so I'm going to go ahead and reject that one. We got 40 minutes left on all these players. We're already at 15 minutes almost. Oh my god. Uh, this video is going to be a long one. We have three for Kari Lettinen, and it's going to be 3.5k. Uh, Chris Kunitz, Alexander Burroughs, Just Georges, and Semyon Varlamov. First thing though, if you're looking for a cheap 86 overall defenseman, Josh Georges is your dude. He is so good. Go pick him up. But, uh,. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, not, not even close to the value. Le Cavalier, 5k. So let's the Cavalier is like 8. Um, yeah, I kind of, I guess, yeah, I will delay it. 
Uh, 5k and Craig Anderson. Okay, yeah, I'll, I will take that one. If there is any better deals, I'll definitely take... Or, uh, if there isn't any better deals, I'll definitely take this one. Craig Anderson, 86 overall. Pretty much the exact same goalie as Kari Lettinen, plus 5k. And I had ha I have had Kari Lettinen. is not the best, so I'm okay with giving him up. we got another one for Victor Fast here. Uh, Valtteri Filippula in 2k. Maybe. Um, Jonathan Bernier. Actually just pulled a very... I, uh, very foul Topula. That's a weird name to, to, to pronounce, but I just pulled uh, him. I have another trade for Cam Ward. I just pulled him in my free pack, but we got one more trade for Cam Ward here. It is going to be 8K, Bernier, Wilson. P that's just a troll. That's pretty much a troll trade. Um, any other troll, any other trades before I wrap it up here and I'll go do the price checking? I don't think so. Um, to, nope, I don't think so. So I'm going to be back. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two videos because it turned out to be crazy, crazy, crazy long. But if you do watch it all the way to the end of the next video, I open up two Mega Packs and I get some crazy shit. So go ahead and watch it and I will see you guys in the next video. It will be part two. It will be uploaded right after this one.